Hello students, welcome to Solar Cells classes. In this video, I will be solving some of the geology questions from JAM 2018. Now, in the previous video, I have solved up to question number 18. So, I will start this video with question number 19. Here, we have to find which of the following is the correct chronological sequence that is from older to younger of the Precambrian stratigraphic units listed below now the correct answer of this question is option number a as the circle group this is about 3300 to 3000 million years ago million years ago in short form i'm writing mya this chitradurga group this is about 2700 to 2500 million years ago. Next is this Alva group. Alva group is about 2000 to 1100, 2000 to 1100 million years ago. And the last that is Kaimur group, which is about 1150 to 1100 million years ago so the correct chronological sequence is circle group then chitragrupta group then alvar group and at the last it is chimer group so the correct answer is option number a now let's move to the second question now here we have to match the formations given in group one corresponding to the fossils that are given in group two the first fossil that is Satagon, they are found in Dhokpatan formation. So R is linked with one. Next a fossil that is Sauropoda. Sauropoda fossils, they are found in Lamita formation. So it is S2. Next is Belemnites. The, the, the fossils of belemnites they are found in Uttatur formation so it is Q3 and this Glossopetrus fossils they are found in Barakar formation so the correct answer is P4 Q3 R1 and S2 which is our option number B so the correct answer of this question is option number B now in the next question we have to find which of the following sedimentary structures are not used for determining the top and bottom of the beds so the four options are mud cracks sharp crested wave ripples load and flame structure and plane lamination now the mud cracks they are the sedimentary structures formed by as the muddy seg sediments muddy sediments sediment it dries and contracts so as muddy sediment dries and contracts contracts next that is load and flame structures this load and flame structures they are created when a denser layer of sediment is deposited on the top of a less dense sediment so they are created when a denser layer of sediment So it is when a denser layer of sediment is deposited deposited on the top of on top of a less dense sediment a less dense sediment Next is sharp crested wave ripples. These are formed as a result of interaction interaction 
of waves or currents on a sediment surface or currents on sediment surface sediment surface and the last is plane lamination this plane lamination is a small scale sequence of fine layers that occur in sedimentary rocks so they are so they are small scale sequence small scale sequence of fine layers that occur in sedimentary rocks that occur in sedimentary rocks so here this mud cracks sharp crested wave ripples and load and flame structures these three are, can be used for determining top and bottom beds but this plane lamination it cannot be used for determining the top and bottom beds so the correct answer of this question is option number d that is plane lamination now let's move to the next question here we have to identify the rocks p and q in the diagram below as per iog's classification so we have to identify what is these rocks p and q now under IOGS classification, under IOGS classification we have this following diagram. From here we can see that this P is Hazelbergite and Q is Weherlite. So from this diagram it is clear that P is Hasbergerite. This P is Hasbergite and Q is Weherite. Weherlite. So, so the correct answer is option number D. That is, our P is Hasbergite and Q is Weherlite. So, the correct answer is option number D.